Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia. And here are a couple more Malaysian mangoes. This is the manga water lily. This is the manga madu. This is the manga suzu. Well, water lily, they use the English name water lily, so no need to translate it. Madu means honey or sugar, and suzu means milk. And those madu and suzu, they are some kind of some generic varieties. They have a lot of 10, maybe 10 different suzu varieties, and madu seems to be just some simple, I don't know, maybe even some seedling mangoes or something like that. But they were pretty cheap. Cheaper than a normal mangoes. Normal mangoes here are like about 5 ringgit or a little bit over a euro a kilo. Expensive ones on the markets can go to up over 10 ringgit. In the malls, 20 or 25 ringgit sometimes. But those here were like 3 ringgit a kilo. So they're on the cheap side. The water really was a little bit more expensive, but also one of the cheaper varieties. So let's try them. Let's try the water lily first. Mm -hmm, a slightly sourish, tangy smell. Mm -hmm. The taste. Mm -hmm. A nice mouth balance between sweet and sour. Some tension is close to the skin. Mm, yeah, the tension is mostly close to the skin. The flesh is not that aromatic, but very nice. Really nice balance of sweet and sour. Now let's try the manga madu, the honey mango. Mm. 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 Similar, but less sweet and with a little bit of a lemon flavor. Still sweet enough, but less sweet than the water lily. Now the manga zuzu. Mm. A bit over, right? Sweet. Actually, just a tiny bit sweet. Basically, no sourness, but the flavor has suffered already a little bit because it's over. Right? So, yeah, the best one was the water lily, which was not an expensive mango, but more expensive than the other ones. The manga madu was still quite good. The manga suzu, in this case, was a little bit boring. Well, I already said this in a couple other videos, but with all fruit, and I see it especially with mango varieties, it's usually much more important, well, what tree they came for, from, what weather, was the, uh, what weather we had in the last couple of weeks, was the mango picked overripe or underripe, uh, where the tree grew, how they treated the tree, how they treated the mango after they picked it. So those varieties, even the most boring variety, the variety which is usually most boring can have really good fruit if you are lucky. And at the same time, some variety which is usually really great, you can be out of luck with it. So folks, those were three more mangoes from Kuala Lumpur. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Kuala Lumpur. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.